The Tree, Big and Green. In 1968, Columbus Hospital was established to care for plants of all sizes. Since its inception, Columbus has operated on the fringe of the medical frontier. This is the story of its controversial chief surgeon, Dr. Kimball Mathias. You know, doctor, I only came to this hospital for one reason, and one reason only, and that's so I could work with you. Well? The greatest tree surgeon that ever lived. <laughs> I'd say something humble, but what good would it do? You're right. Well, what got you started? I mean... I'd say it was my father, following in his footsteps. Oh, how so? He was a lumberjack. Oh. I've dedicated my life to trying to cure the ills that he created in this world. And I won't stop until my time is done. Wow. But enough about me. What about you? Oh, no. How have you been? A little tired, a little run down. What about that patient in 312? Oh, the white pine? Mm -hmm. It appears to be a case of balsam oleophysius. Oleophysius. <laughs> what's important is knowing what a problem is. Pronouncing it is even more important. It makes you seem very intelligent. Yes, God. <laughs> Brilliant. Please, the my chips. You're so childlike. <laughs> I find that charming. <laughs> well, Dr. Kimball Mathias, report to OR. Dr. Kimball Mathias to business. OR. Dr. Kimball Mathias, report to OR. Oh, 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 oh it's fine. <sighs> Dr. Kimball Mathias, please report to OR. Dr. Kimball Mathias, desperately needed an OR. There it is. OR, where we earn our bread and butter. Come on! Do you have the key? Scrubs! All right. Watch my cuticles. I want her fistic. I want her scamming. Scamming. I want her fully croizing. Croizing? That's the cuticles, man! My hands are my life. Doctor, Please. You get all of them together, Doctor. That's great. It's completely dark. That helps a lot. Yes. Could you put your hair up, please? <laughs> That's dark. Is she fistic? We're getting fibrosis. Answer me, damn it! Yes, I said yes. I didn't hear you. I can't hear a nod, all right? Ugh! Damn it, man! My hands are my life! Fistic! Good God! We've got to go in! Go! What's your prognosis, Doctor? Uh, I'd like to keep this as a wait-and-see situation. Right, sure. The yeah. pulse is very faint. De stiver! De stiver! 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 Stiver!
Why do we come back every day? Damn. Damn it. Damn. Damn. Damn you. Damn. Damn us. What are we thinking? No! 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 no. I doesn't see we come in there. What good do I do? Listen. What good do I do? None. I swear to God. I swear to God. I want a full report on this guy. A full layup. I want some rings counted, people. I want some rings counted. Better send them down to the morgue. Excuse me, is there a Mrs. Evergreen here? There's no smoking in here. Is there a Mrs. Evergreen? Oh, Mrs. Evergreen, I'm Dr. Kimball Mathias. I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news. Why don't you sit down? All right, I understand. I understand. Stand if you'd like. Mrs. Evergreen, I've just come from your husband. I'm afraid... I'm afraid he didn't make it. Mrs. Evergreen. Mr. Water! Mrs. Evergreen. Uh, here. Uh, shake it off. Shake it off. Mrs. Evergreen, we did everything we could. When he came in, he was badly burned. He had virtually no bark left. We cut into the phloem. There was, there was a parchment. Was, was there any chance that he had been over-fertilized recently? No. Well, I'm afraid, I'm afraid he's lumber now. I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Let it out. Let it out, I'm here. <sighs> okay. Good. Well. Bye. I've had to say that thousands of times. It just never gets any easier. Helen! It was a home. It was a piece of God. God in us all. All of us are trees. All of us drop our leaves. But we get a chance to pick them up, don't we? The tree has no chance. Winter comes and its boughs are heavy with snow. They crack, they snap, the sap freezes in its boughs. We carve our names in it because we feel like it. Because that's what our love does. Our love destroys. You've destroyed it. You've destroyed its beauty. You're an animal. Animal doctor? I think you're the animal doctor. No, I'm the tree surgeon. You make me want to puke, mister. No, thank you. I've just eaten. And quite frankly, I am willing to vomit to prove a point. And what point would that be, doctor? That you're an animal. Animal doctor? I think you're the animal doctor. No, I'm the tree surgeon. No, thank you. I just ate. And I'm willing to vomit just to prove a point. I am going now, gentlemen. But I am taking a piece of that tree with me. To remember him by. I'll never love again. Helen! Let's fire it up. <laughs> 